Yeah, aloha. Welcome to Dreamweaver training number two. Today we're going to go over some, I guess, some behavior scripts. And if you always wondered, I have this sample website here. See these little thumbnails here? As you click on these thumbnails, you notice that this big preview will change right here. So, we're going to learn how to do that. So watch, I click on this small thumbnail, Jamie here and there's a big picture and just to make it easy for you guys I'm gonna use um, this little thumbnail of Mick Fanning and he will actually you know change in the big preview so if you always wondered how to do this for your website or showing off some work or projects or whatever you wanna do like a web a little small um, photo gallery I'm um, gonna learn how to do that today so let me close this you know, open dream we were up um, if you guys are not using Dreamweaver CS, it might be in some different places, but um, they're pretty much all the same thing. So first thing we're going to do is create a standard HTML file. So go to your file menu, create new. And we have a little dialog box and it asks us what do we want to do. Um, there's a lot of options, but just do a standard HTML one. So I'm going to hit create down here. and. Here we go. So we've got my new little project up here, and I've got to create a couple things. Um, I want to create a table so I can keep it neat and separate it. So I'm going to create a table right now. If you go to your little properties window on the top, and I'm going to hit the little table icon here, and gives us some options. You should have this little dialog box that pops up and it has all the properties for your table so I just want to create a table that has one row with two columns so I'm gonna have one column or one table column for my little thumbnail and I'm gonna have one for my preview pretty simple sounds good I hope you guys are following me okay click OK now in our project you can't see the whole thing but you'll notice here that I have my little table here so that's the first column with the th that I'm going to use for thumbnails and here's my second column for my preview so now that I've got my table to hold my pictures I'm going to click on this first column right here mm, just click on there you'll notice that the cursor appears and now I gotta put my picture in there so I'm gonna go back up here click on the insert picture or images button and I'll have a little dialog of my desktop or you know a file of the finder where I can find my files so I'm, I've conveniently already saved some pictures in um, a folder and it's actually the same pictures that we've seen on the website so it's under tutorials and you notice here that I've renamed the two files so I have one with Mick S which is for small and one Mick dot bjpg for big so you guys don't have to take this advice but it would be a good idea to name your file so it's easy to find so in this case the s is for the small thumbnail and mcb is for the big preview so the first one i want to put in is the small thumbnail so i'm going to choose that click choose and it says if you want you can name it an alter alternate text name so i'll just put in mick and you guys should actually do this you guys can skip this process but when you guys name your ta or tag your um, images or any object on your web page it helps for Google searches so that your pictures can be found easily or you have more chances of yourself being found on a search engine so it's a good practice to put stuff in in like that so we'll hit OK and if you notice right here in this little first column here I have the little thumbnail of Mick perfect right okay now what I want to do is I want to put a placeholder or I want to put something else in on this one here. Okay, so I have this one here and that one there. Uh oh, hold on. Cut. Okay, now that we've got the little thumbnail here, we want to select that and if you go to your little properties window down here, on the bottom you should have one of these if you don't go to your file menu on the top and just make sure that your properties um, checkbox is checked off then you get one of these little things coming up and the first thing you want to do is we want to name our images because we don't want to get confused because when we do the behavior swap it's going to ask us to 
choose the images to that we want to swap out so if we don't put names on it you're gonna have a fun time trying to figure out which photo is which so right here we're gonna put in Mick s for small and I'm just gonna hit return so this little thumbnail here is named Mick s okay so now I've got my little thumbnail of Mick in here now all I'm gonna do is repeat the same process in column number two but I'm gonna put my preview picture in there so I'll put my cursor in there go to my little image button dialog box comes up and I also have another photo in here called Parko um, basically when they go to this web page they're gonna see this as the default image but later we're gonna change this so when we click on the thumbnail it's gonna change to mix picture so I'm gonna put that little picture of Joe Parkinson in there right there hit choose and I'm gonna just name it just for search engine friendly hit that and now you notice we've got two pictures I've got the big picture of Parko here and I've got a little thumbnail of Mick okay so now this is where the fun starts. We're